Okay, pet parents, you guys know the difference between a true seizure and a syncopal event? No? Well, let's change that. Play the angry music, blue man! Cool tats, bro. Thanks. They're fake. First, let's define the terms. A true seizure is a surge of electrical activity in the brain that leads to a lot of really weird stuff happening on the outside, versus a syncopal event is a momentary loss of consciousness due to a drop in blood flow to the brain. Now, a syncopal event can either be complete, meaning the pet legitimately passes out for a hot second, or it can be incomplete, kind of like getting wobbly and lightheaded. At the end of the day, regardless of whether your pet's having a true seizure or a syncopal event, they need to be evaluated by a veterinarian. However, if you can pick up on the difference between the two of them, you may better help us determine what diagnostic path we need to go down. One more thing to say before I get into the details, the couple of things I'm gonna go over with you in this video are gonna hold true for your typical syncopal event and your generalized seizures. In reality, seizures and syncopal events can look almost identical, but the few things I'm gonna cover in this video will hold true and be accurate for the vast majority of cases. So let's do this. Up first, violence. If a pet is violently shaking or convulsing on the ground, that's probably going to be a seizure. With syncope, pets typically just fall over limp. However, in some cases of syncope, the pet may flail their limbs in an effort to get back up, much like we do when we're trying to spring up off of the couch when we hear our cats are getting ready to vomit on the carpet. <laughs> but those flailing movements are much less dramatic than a true seizure. Next up, a loss of consciousness. Now this one can be a little bit tricky because both in syncopal events and seizures, pets can lose consciousness. However, if the pet does not lose consciousness during the event, that's more indicative of a syncopal event. Urination! If the pet urinates and or defecates on themselves, that's gonna be much more indicative of a true seizure. Now let's talk about the recovery phase. If after the event happens, the pet gets up like nothing ever happened, that's gonna be strongly indicative of a syncopal event. With seizures, after the seizure happens, the pets will go into what's called a post-ictal phase for a period of time, 30 minutes to an hour or two, where they're mentally not right. They may be panting or pacing and seem dazed and disoriented. If you notice things like weird eye movement, weird vocalization, and drooling, those are gonna be much more indicative of true seizures. Length of time. Now, this one can be a little bit tricky, but on average, syncopal events are gonna be shorter, lasting somewhere between five and 30 seconds, but they can last up to a minute. Seizures will typically last longer, ranging somewhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes to even hours if they're left untreated. Well, there you have it. Now you guys are experts on differentiating between seizures and syncopal events. And if you want more information on seizures, I got a couple of videos on them. Go check them out.